Uh, hello, Mikhail from the configure team here. Uh, I'd like to demo the CI tunnel functionality. So this is my personal project for the demo purposes. And here we have an agent with basically an empty configuration, just extra login is enabled. And um, we have the following CI configuration uh, file, which, uh, so the agent ID is 142. Then we create the configuration file for kubectl. It will be talking to GitLab, GitLab's CAS installation on this address uh, using the CI job token for authentication and agent ID is this number. And then it should just get the version of kubectl and the server and then print all the pods you know, in all spaces. So I have just run this, I've just run the side job which does that and uh, it just fails. This is to show that it's not working uh, when there is no agent. So this is not working because I don't have an agent connected. Um, and uh, this is QCTL version with extra debugging and that extra debugging V10, Pirbos 10 shows that it tried to talk to this address and it couldn't like request timed out 32 seconds uh, now and QCTL just prints the stack trace. So I did that on purpose. This is what happens if there is no agent, but let's deploy the agent. Um, so in the same project, I have this club agent uh, directory. This is a KPT package. Uh, the official, our official KPT package to install the agent, but I cloned it, configured it uh, to work with uh, GitLab.com CAS and uh, with my secret and so on. Uh, and I checked it in here for convenience. So that's what we will be using to deploy uh, the agent into my a local cluster which is running in Docker. So I'm using kind to bring it in Docker. And uh, pods. This is what I have. This is what I have. 1.12 client and service 1.21. Okay, so to deploy this package, we will be using following command, it will run customized to build the cluster directory. This directory cluster, um, this is the directory I'm showing. And uh, it will pipe that to kubectl apply and it will apply it to my local cluster. Uh, and that will be creating the namespace x, x2 to which it will deploy the agent. Let's see if it's done that already. Yep, agent is there, it's running. Um, see that here actually. This is my agent one. And last use 30 seconds ago. This is my token, so it's working. Uh, okay, let's leave it here with block tailing. Now, I don't like that job name deploy. Let's because it's not deploying anything to for, for the demo purposes and to trigger the job. Um, let's edit the YAML file and rename the deploy to demo. That, and this should trigger a CI job. There it is, yep, called demo. It's taking a little bit of time to download the image. Okay, looks like the logs are behind because 
Kubernetes agent is already printing that it's handling a connection. And uh, we are also getting resource exhausted. Um, I think that's because we are we have configured the rate limiting on the server side quite conservatively. So it turned out that uh, those two commands I showed you, kubectl version and uh, um, get pods in all main spaces, these two commands make 125 API calls. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> obviously kubectl makes them as fast as it can. So we are throttling it. That's why uh, logs are taking a while to appear as we go. It's just working <laughs> and it's being throttled. So we need to tune the throttling a little bit, uh, tune the rate limiting a little bit to get less throttling. Anyway, it worked fine. Um, here is the version. So we get a lot of details here because I specified the boss then. Uh, and we got the reply in 500 milliseconds from the past GitLab.com and uh, Server version is what I have locally, 121.1. And these are the pods and the next two namespace where I just deployed my uh, Kubernetes agent. Um, that's probably it. Thank you. <laughs>